Um, smoke is coming out of everywhere. That's oil all over the back of my car. I don't know if it came through the exhaust. No, it's all on the car too. Smoking like a, oh, it's on fire. Oh, that ain't good. Oh my God, that ain't good. Come on. Help! I need, uh, I need a fire department dispatched. Excuse me? Move the truck, the car is on fire. What? Essex, Maryland. Yes, yes. Yes. Oh my God! Kirk. My car is on fire. Oh my God! Oh my God! All right, thank you. No, it's it's in it's sitting in our yard. I pulled it up to the house. I just I would just took it out for a drive. Well, it's near the house in another vehicle. No, no, no one's no one's near the vehicle. It's a black 97 Ford Mustang. No, it's regular gas. No, no one's injured. It's going to blow out. Can't you back that one? Just let it drift. <sighs> okay, thank you. How is this even happening? I just called the fire department, man. I appreciate it. Can you move that roof on? I, it's hot. It's, it's, it's they, hot. they told me to stay away from it. Oh, I see that problem. Dude. <laughs> mm -hmm. How is this even happening? Oh my God. Let's get inside. I had this took I took this with me. I did a couple pulls. It was good. It was running really good. There's the money. No, this is not how I wanted it. So it sucks. It really does. That was the most tremendous. I mean, I, I was horrified. I, I was scared 
to no end. Um, I've never had to deal with a situation like that. And it's very unfortunate. Um, you know, it, it sucks. It really does. I was not expecting that to happen whatsoever. And, um, you know, it, it is what it is, I guess. They're no longer around, which is, sucks. Those cars were my life. I would, I was not planning to get rid of them at all. You know, the Fox body, I finally got in the Fox body and, and I was happy to finally get working on one again. I was so excited to a 2.3 turbo project and everything. And just in a matter of minutes, years of work. I mean, literal blood, sweat and tears were just gone in a matter of minutes. And honestly, when I, when I, brought myself to that conclusion and I realized like once it like <laughs> the initial shock wore off I could not hold myself together I was in I, I cried man I really did uh, you know it's, I'm not ashamed to say it that was tough um, to have those cars just be taken away like that and it really goes to show how <laughs> how things can change in so quickly in life. Um, you know, I was one minute, I was out enjoying a drive in, it, in my car that it took weeks to get back together. I was so happy. And then the, the next minute that car is gone. And then my other car was gone. Um, definitely uh, a zero out of 10 experience. I, I don't recommend <laughs> at all that anyone ever goes through this. And I'm sorry to, if anyone is watching this and has this issue, I feel your pain. I'm sorry you had to go through it. It sucks. Um, thankfully, I wasn't hurt. I was able to get the car away from the home enough where there was like minimal, I mean, there wasn't really any damage, nothing that was worth crying over on the home. Just, uh, I was okay, of course, you know, I was able to get all the other vehicles away and it was just unfortunately those two were, you know. And the crap part is, I was really trying, I wanted to get the Fox body away, but at the time, I was still working on it, so it wasn't, I think I could have got it running, um, but there was a chance that it wouldn't have started right away. And the problem is, once the fire caught the fiberglass hood of the, the Cobra, I mean, but basically it happened so quick, it, I, by the time I pushed the car back, to get it away from the home, that hood was already in flames, um, you know, because then my next step, of course, is I called 911 and they told me to stay away from the vehicles, don't be a hero. So, you know, I could I save the Fox body? Maybe, I don't even know. I don't even want to think about it. It's a possibility I, I could have, you know, jumped in through the passenger side and, and maybe just drifted the car backwards enough so it wouldn't get to where the fire wouldn't have caught the top of the car and, and maybe it would have been okay. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't say anything. Maybe it's maybe. I was listening to, um, because I was so terrified and I wasn't really sure what to do. I never had experienced anything like that. I was listening to the directions from the 911 operator. So I thought maybe my, it was in my best interest at the time to listen to them. You know, it's, it is what it is. Um, and needless to say, yeah, they're, they're, they're both gone. But with that, um, I definitely, I think their, the takeaway is it, them not being here, I think it's gonna allow me to grow as, a, as an enthusiast. You know, I was really focusing on the sport thing and then I got caught up with three Mustangs and I love my Mustangs, don't get me wrong. Um, but I think now that I finally have a clean slate, you know, we got the beautiful EcoBoost Mustang that um, really no one knows much about. There's not really any content on. So, you know, we're gonna focus on that, of course. And, uh, you know, I thought maybe a project car or another something could be coming along here, but I've decided it's best not to. It's best financially as an adult that I make wise decisions and getting another project car in this moment in time is not very wise. Um, you know, gotta be smart about it. I wanna do it, I wanna get something else. I had something else in mind I wanted to do, um, but I gotta be smart about it so that way when it comes that time, I can do it and do it responsibly and not, um, you know, 
not step on my own toes, if you will, so. But that's gonna wrap it up here for this video. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up, share it with everyone you know if you wanna see more content like this, and go ahead, subscribe to the channel, and keep a lookout for the next True Car Enthusiast video.